series, we will cover the different screens within the Employee tab. The series will be broken down into six separate videos. The first will cover the Employee Profile page. The second will cover the Employee Pay page. The third will cover the Employee Taxes page. The fourth will cover the Employee Deductions page. The fifth will cover the Employee Cost Center page. And then the sixth video will cover the Employee Benefits page. When selecting the Employee tab, you will first be brought to your Employee List page. On this page, you have the ability to add a new employee or apply filters to narrow down the employee list and select a specific employee. To filter the list, select the filter icon, choose which filters you'd like to apply, and select the filter button. To remove a filter, hover over the filter and select the icon. The profile page is the first page that must be set up when adding a new employee. This page is where your employee's contact information, personal information, and employment information is entered in. While only a portion of the fields on this page are required, we do recommend completing as many as possible. This is because some of the optional fields can carry over into other areas of the software. One example is the birth date. If a birth date is entered into the system, the system will know to look at the employee's age in determining specific limits on things such as retirement plans. The marital status field on this page is informational only and does not affect your employee's tax withholdings. EEOC information can also be entered on the employee profile page. The race and job category dropdowns will be pre-populated but you will need to add your locations using the location button. The employment information section is where information specific to your employee's job is assigned. For example, job title, supervisor, department, and cost center. The notes field at the bottom of this page is an open-ended text field where you can enter any notes applicable to your employee. Thank you for watching the first video on Dominion's employee files. Please check out the next video in this series titled Employee Pay.